Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also compare it to the DXY because we have some very interesting price action going on right now. It looks like that Bitcoin is breaking out here to the upside and we're going to see today where the potential target is of this breakout. But before we start with the content, my friends, remember that if you want to take as much gains as possible on the way up or on the way down, you can do this over on Bybit or Femex, for example. These are the exchanges that I recommend you. And if you want to sign up on those exchanges, use my referral links that you find down below here in the video description, especially for Bybit and Femex, because here you can get the most bonus. And if you missed out on the Prime XPT Covest feature because right now it is quite exhausted and it's almost nowhere possible to join other traders check out BTR because on BTR it is very soon also possible to follow other traders so also here in the future it will be available to follow other traders so there will be a similar thing like this co-vesting thing over on Prime XPT and on BTR you can trade with Tether everything you want and here you can get up to $258 in bonus. So definitely check out also BTR as soon as they're gonna release this co vesting feature I'm sure a lot of people want to follow as well because it is also for you if you're an experienced trader a very nice thing to start to trade there because if you have followers you will get also some of the gains that they are doing with their invested money for your own so it's kind of a win-win situation situation if you're also a very good trader then definitely use this co-vesting thing and now my friends let's start with the content because bitcoin currently is breaking out here in the four hour time frame from this ascending triangle and the target as i told you also in yesterday's video is to reach this potential seventeen thousand two hundred dollar this is also the target and the top that we had after the all-time high in 2017 so as soon as we're gonna break seventeen thousand two hundred dollar we for sure are going towards 20k and retest the new all-time high and it is still very likely that bitcoin is gonna create new all-time highs before maybe it's gonna have a major correction potentially again lower than fifteen thousand dollar in that case my target is still to reach this fourteen to eleven thousand dollar if we're gonna have a massive correction but so far it doesn't look like that bitcoin wants to correct and it looks like that we're gearing up here for another big parabolic move to the upside but of course there are a lot of warning signs we could still see a short-lived correction or maybe even a monster week to the downside because all the indicators especially in the lower time frames are very exhausted very overbought you can see it also here in my own indicator we got a confirmed sell signal we had several bearish divergences here and right now there is a very high chance that maybe we could see here a possible fake out maybe a blow off top before maybe we start a correction here so watch out I think the next move will be very significant here and if Bitcoin is able to break $17,200 then we are officially in no man's land so that means we could easily go towards 20k and also break it and uh, we're gonna analyze what could be also the next possible top after 20k in the weekly time frame now let's go over first into the dxy and check out here the four hour time frame because as you can see currently we're breaking out from the resistance again like we had over here and you can see that currently we're still getting rejected from the 20 and 50 moving average and the money flow is coming down here in the dxy also here we got a confirmed sell signal and afterwards you can see that currently the dxy is falling so also here i'm expecting here continuation to the downside potentially along here the new support and there we're gonna have to see if the dxy is able to push higher or not but the dxy is still looking bearish and in the other hand bitcoin is still looking very bullish even though we have a confirmed sell signal but only in the four hour time frame and now if you go over into the bollinger band you can see that currently we are still getting here supported by this first moving average here and uh, in theory we could easily now bounce again here towards sixteen thousand five hundred sixty dollars so watch out for a possible move towards this price level if you're in a long position and uh, you can also see that MACD and KSD are shifted to the upside only the stochastic is cooling off here a bit 
but I think as long as we're closing four hour candles above $16,000, everything is okay to go further up. And now we go over into the daily time frame, my friends, because look at that. Bitcoin is still trading above all the moving averages and we have here the nine day moving average perfectly acting as a support. And I told you many times already that as long as we're closing daily candles above this moving average, so above $15,600, we are still shifted to the upside. And as you know, the trend is your friend till the end. So that means you should be looking for nice long opportunities along this moving average on the way up. And as soon as we're gonna close your daily candles, below the nine day or even worse below the 20 daily moving average which right now is perfectly lining up with our previous resistance from this channel which now is new support right at $14,500 then maybe try to consider to open up a short position but as long as we are maintaining this support and also here the 20 daily moving average as a support I think we will be still shifted to the upside and you should not consider too short as long as we don't see major changes here in the daily time frame. And you can also see that as long as we're trading here in this higher area, the 50 and 200 daily moving average are slowly coming up again here. So this is very good in case of a major crash, the price will eventually not crash lower than these two moving averages here. So between the 50 and the 200 daily moving average, which is a price range here between $12,500 and $10,500. And why I still say that there could be a correction is because we are still far away from all the moving averages here. And a correction after this massive pump that we had here is still in the card. So there are a lot of warning signs right now, but the trend is definitely shifted to the upside. And that's why I wouldn't try to short the rallies, try to long the dips. If you see a retracement, for example, down to $14,500, try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as you can at this price level and also try to scale in even more longs if you want to open up a long position. Because in the worst case scenario, we could drop down to towards the 50 or 200 daily moving average. And if you don't go with high leverage into a trade, you should be able to manage your trade very easily and DCA into your trade. And at the other hand, also if you're just buying and hodling Bitcoin between the 20 daily and the 200 daily moving average is where you buy orders should be in here right now because if we're gonna see a correction I think this is gonna be very short-lived because the bulls for sure will gonna try to buy everything they can down at those levels and now let's go over into the DXY and have a look here into the daily time frame because as you can see we are still getting rejected from the 20 and 50 daily moving average so we could expect here a big drop anytime soon the daily is still looking very bearish in my opinion and even if we would see a pump towards the 100 daily moving average which also we have seen here in the last couple of days we will still remain here in a bear market because we are still trading below the 200 daily moving average which right now is here at 96 dollars and now let's go back to the bitcoin chart and open up the bollinger band here in the daily because here you can also see that currently the middle line is right here at 14,500 where the 20 daily moving average is lining up. So even if we would retrace back down here, I think we will still remain on our way to the upside and you should consider to start buying heavily Bitcoin at this price level and also DCA down to the bottom here of the Bollinger Band, which is currently at around $12,400. We have all the indicators now shifted to the upside. Also stochastic now had the bullish cross and after cooling off here into oversold condition, you can see that this again shifted to the upside. Everything is again still looking very bullish here in the Bitcoin price for the long term. But as I told you, my friends, there are a lot of warning signs right now that we could see something like a small dump here before we continue to go higher. And if we go over into the weekly time frame here, also you can see that currently we are looking quite exhausted, but we still have some room left to the upside because Bitcoin could even go into new all time high territory before here we're maybe getting a sell signal or maybe we're going to cool off first before we're gearing up for another big lag to the upside. And in that case, if we are able to reach this $20,000 again before a major correction and also possibly break out here to the upside, then we are officially in no man's land. And the only way how to predict more or less where Bitcoin could face some resistance is maybe at those Fibonacci extensions that you can see on the left side. And I think that between the 1.618 and the 
2.618 fib line so between 30,000 and maybe around 50,000 dollar we're gonna face maybe some resistance or we're gonna see some people taking heavily profits here and this is where I could imagine that we're gonna see maybe a top here at least a local top before a major correction even down towards 10k who knows what could happen if from 30 to 50k we're gonna see a massive sell-off but this is what I think could happen if Bitcoin is breaking now 20k before having a major correction because as soon 20k is broken you can be sure that we're gonna see a lot of FOMO and everyone is trying to rush into the market and try to buy as much Bitcoin as possible also imagine everyone that is waiting for a dip to buy even more Bitcoin once we're gonna break 20k for sure those people will also FOMO in into the Bitcoin price because they definitely don't want to miss out this next parabolic run up so with that said guys I'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel very much appreciated I do daily TA videos and also check out all the links that you find down below here in the video description with many of them you can get some bonus if you sign up with my links and if you are completely new in the crypto space then make sure to open up an account on Swissborg and Coinbase that's the easiest way how to buy some cryptos and on Coinbase currently you can get all also a lot of free money to buy even more cryptos and altcoins and if these daily TA videos are not enough for you then make sure to join also my free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is welcome we have a great community over there and this is also where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye